blurbs and pocket PC greetings here. I've got an HP iPac RX 1955, one that I've covered over on LGR before. And I've got it set up here on a secondary home network that I have for old Wi-Fi devices like this. And also the sling box, which is about to die in terms of the service is going away. So I wanted to see if this was possible to get it running um, not only on a, a desktop, like I was, uh, yeah, I, I did a video on there, on, uh, bleh, bleh, a video here on Blurbs about that the other day, and totally worked fine on Windows, but this is Windows Mobile, so, <laughs> was able to find these files on archive.org, um, and yeah, there was a, a set of files that was talking with Steve of Mac 84 and he was able to find some. Unfortunately, those didn't work. I think the links were slightly iffy and I mean, there's so many weird iffy links all in archive.org and most of them go nowhere. Some of them come back as like corrupt files or files missing. There was a PowerPC version of the Slingbox player. So that's what I want to try here. And that is just to see if I can get darn camera. Anyway, it installed the application comes up here, Sling Player Mobile. And it's trying to uh, connect to something because I've already set it up. I was recording that and I didn't record it because crap happens. Well, anyway, it's effectively the same setup as I was doing on the laptop and the other video. You just put in your Slingbox alias and the finder ID and password and that's it. Now back to my other self recording. All right, giant string of characters are in and now shows up in our directory. So let's see what we do. New versions available, I know. Now. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Dude! So, The Shining on Laserdisc is playing in the, uh, the living room in there. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, totally works. Definitely a way worse inconsistent frame rate compared to the Lamborghini laptop, but that's really not surprising considering uh, what we're running it on. It's trying to catch up. <laughs> this is super cool, man. I still can't get over how well this actually works, all things considered. If nothing else, the audio is consistent enough that say if you were just trying to quickly catch up on like, you know, your your local sports team or news or whatever, man. Uh, yeah. Just got so many comments from folks, people all around the world saying that they were, you know, using this while they were out of the country or while they were on business trips or while they were deployed or, you know, moved to somewhere completely remote where, you know, they still wanted to get their local news and sports and stuff. It's especially good for that. But at the same time, obviously these results are, this is 2005. It's doing as well as it can, right? But uh, <laughs> it's, it's just so cool. Considering, what slideshow? It was almost a slideshow right there. So yeah, this one does have a few more options compared to what we were looking at before on the laptop. I mean, you know, there's all kinds of different versions of this, but. Uh, this one anyway has different buffer settings. So you can see there four seconds buffering. <laughs> I, I measured like six to eight seconds on the other one when it was just set to automatic. Honestly, we can, can we just put this in like, yeah, let's just put it in mono. We don't need stereo in this tiny little thing. Now we can change the resolution all the way down to 128 by 96. One FPS, uh, not even. Yeah, just, I don't know if this is, the Wi-Fi signal, because I'm all the way on the other side of the house from the uh, the actual Wi-Fi that I have. Uh, let me let me try something just walking around. Because yeah, the antenna on these things, <laughs> they're not the greatest. So I'm pretty much up above where I have uh, the old router set up right now. But yeah, there's the setup right there. Sling box, laser disc player. <laughs> it's trying, man. It's really trying. <laughs> yeah, we're just not getting any video. But the sound is consistently coming through. That doesn't seem to really break up at all. 
Okay, so I'm right over the router here now, which is a classic old WRT54G from 2005. I don't know what happened to the video, man. It's pretty cool. You can see where it's getting the video from, though. Like the sources and stuff. Well, that's slideshow mode. It's certainly a slideshow. Controlled mode, we can't do anything with because it don't have infrared on there. Uh, so anyway, the results are not great, <laughs> at least on this particular configuration with this particular device. It was getting it there okay at the beginning, but even after restarting it and yeah, resetting it back up, the video is just wildly inconsistent to say the least. But yeah, like I said, the audio itself seems to go through pretty much no matter what. So that's something. Well, anyway, I just wanted to see if this works and while we still had the chance and, you know, it does, just uh, not very well. But that's um, not entirely unexpected for <laughs> an HP iPad <laughs> running over Wi-Fi, which is already iffy. Like that, getting that alone is hard to do because it's 802.11b. That's why I have to have that whole separate networking set up and everything. So yeah, there's there's Wi-Fi issues, there's the receiver of these things not being great, period, on the iPacks, and then there's just the sling box doing as best as it can, and the point is, it does actually work. All right, so there's one other thing I wanna test, but I have to wait another day for the servers to actually go down, and that is, I just wanna make sure that, um, that you still can use this offline, just over a local area network. I'm thinking that'll be doable. Just want to double check. So see you tomorrow. Or not. Uh, it's like two months later. A happy 2023. <laughs> I kind of just forgot about that project. Um, but yeah, cleaning up down here the other LGR things I was doing recently. And it's like, why is that still set up? Oh, yeah. So Slingbox servers are long gone at this point. So uh, let's just test it out. Sling box, it's still connected upstairs. And there we go. It's still working. Locally anyway. And yeah, this is uh, just connected through ethernet, so we're not gonna be running into the horrible Wi-Fi weirdness and other problems we were having there. And since it was brought up so many times in the previous video, we're slinging blade. Sling blade, ha ha, I get what y'all were going for. Anyway, it's uh, totally working on local network without any servers at all, which is what I assumed that it would be doing. So no real big surprise there. But yeah, the online stuff is still like, it's, it's gone. You know, you can't do anything that would rely on servers. But like this desktop or, you know, the iPad or laptops or you do whatever, as long as you have this old version of the sling box and the old software, then should still work. Just maybe don't update it or be wary of any updates because I've been reading about uh, <laughs> units getting bricked with uh, like a final firmware that was pushed out by Sling Media to just like kill off all remaining sling boxes that were still trying to connect or something. I don't know if that actually happened or what. There were just some, there's some weirdness going on in November there. There's also a Slinger project that's a, a community-made thing. It's supposed to let you sling without the actual servers, but I don't know if that still works either. I've heard reports that it doesn't, or maybe no longer does after that final update firmware thing. Uh, either way, you can still get the original Slingbox experience on a local network if you happen to have a really old one like I do. And um, that's not really useful at all. <laughs> but at least it's better than absolutely nothing, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of a neat curiosity at this point in time. It was neat to see that it still works on the iPack um, once I was able to find the right version of that and stuff. So uh, I'm curious what kind of legacy this is going to end up having in the future. Is this going to completely be forgotten before long? Probably. So, all right. 
that's pretty much it for my slingbox endeavors here for me. And I'm going to pack it all up and put it away probably for good because there really isn't much use for it now. <laughs> Thanks for watching this blurb, though. I hope you uh, found it as slightly amusing as I did to see it working on an old HP iPack.